Just because snow is on the ground doesn't mean you can't keep the RV adventure going. With the proper Class B rig, you can turn RV season into a year-long event. Winter RVing means things like empty campgrounds with super low pricing. In many cases, you might even have the campground to yourself. It also means no bugs, or at least a lot fewer. You can also get a unique perspective by seeing things through the snowy lens of winter weather. But not every RV is winter ready, and especially when it comes to Class B rigs, there are some that are distinctly better than the rest. After all, what good is a cheap campground if you're absolutely freezing? Let's jump into some of the best Class B RVs for your winter travels. The Winnebago Rebel is one bad mamma jamma, and if you aren't sure what that means, it's a good thing. Built on the Mercedes-Benz Sprinter chassis, the Rebel comes fully equipped with 4x4 drive, tons of storage, and extra heating critical fluid tanks. Falling somewhere between an adventure van and your classic Class B RV, the Rebel is built to take you outdoors wherever you want to go. But how does it handle the cold winter weather? For starters, the Revel uses a diesel heating system, which can be a lot more convenient than the more common propane option. Diesel is usually easier to find, and if you're hitting the road in below freezing temperatures, you don't even want to go an hour without proper heating. There's also a robust solar system that can back you up if things get rough. The Revel also has heated tanks and plumbing to prevent any kind of disastrous fluid freeze up. There's a huge amount of storage in this rig, which is perfect for the winter adventurer. The bathroom has modular shelving that can be added to greatly increase storage space. If you place it up high enough, you can still use the small bathroom, but you could also completely convert the bathroom into a closet if needed. But the most interesting storage feature has to be the bed. The huge bed actually lifts all the way to the ceiling, revealing a ton of space that can be used for winter accessories like skis, snowboards, or even a dirt bike. When you get to where you're going, you can move your gear out of the way and lower your bed. You can also keep the bed a little off the floor and the vehicle to keep extra storage space and the bed in the Revel is one of my favorites across any Class B RV. Then there's the 4x4 capability, which is pretty much the cherry on top for this winter rig. Overall, the Revel makes a great option for the adventurous side of the RV world, but if your ideal trip is heading into the city or hitting the closest campground, some of the heavy-duty features might be a bit beyond what you actually need. The Storyteller Overland is a powerful Class B motorhome and can go head-to-head -head with the Revel on pretty much every feature. The Overland has four different modes, as Storyteller calls them, and the Beast mode is definitely ready to take on about any weather that you could come across. Built on a Mercedes-Benz diesel engine chassis, the Beast is 4x4 ready with tons of storage and durability. Like the Revel, it uses a diesel heating system that pulls from the diesel gas tank and pumps it past the water tanks to keep them from freezing and a Volta Energy system that uses ion battery technology instead of a generator. The Volta system is also located under the bed on the interior of the motorhome, which is an advantage as it doesn't have to work as hard to keep itself warm before keeping your RV warm. The Beast also has Havelock wool for top-to-bottom insulation, which keeps you warm and helps absorb noise, air pollution, and moisture. Wool is definitely considered a great manufactured insulation alternative, particularly in humid or wet climates. Most insulation becomes less effective as it gets wet, and in an RV, ineffective insulation can be a difficult hurdle to overcome. Wool will naturally repel moisture and dry very quickly. Havelock wool has become extremely popular in recent years for RV insulation. The Beast comes standard with heavy-duty window covers, which can really help if you're in below freezing temperatures. They aren't the most attractive things, but if you're in sub-zero weather, I doubt you're going to care too much. This is a great second layer of insulation over the standard double-pane windows. My issue with the Storyteller Overland will always come down to the shower. It uses a halo interior shower system, so the shower pan is located on the floor and the shower head and shower curtain folds up into an overhead cabinet. While it's compact, this means that the shower head and curtain need to be fully dried before being placed back into the cabinet, or you could get mold and mildew. 
Not to mention that water could get everywhere inside your RV since there's just a flimsy curtain to keep the water inside. And while there is an outdoor shower, you're not necessarily going to want to shower outside during the winter. But if the shower system isn't that big of a deal to you, then the Beast is definitely worth looking at. This RV can absolutely say it is four season ready and it has the reviews to back it up. We've got another Winnebago brand RV on this list, and for good reason. Winnebago has a long history of success in the RV world, and they consistently produce great Class B rigs. The Travato is no exception. While the Winnebago Revel was all about braving the winter weather in rugged style, the Travato is still four seasons ready, but also brings in a bit more style. You'll notice that instead of a stripped down interior as we find in the Revel, the Travato has beautiful walnut colored cabinets and a very clean white countertop, comfortable ultra leather seating in the driving area, and plenty of residential style fixtures. But one of the things you'll notice is the rather unusual bed setup inside of this RV. Instead of the traditional approach of putting a queen size bed in the way back of the RV, this rig features two twin beds pushed to either side of the RV with a walking space down the middle. While you can convert it to a king size bed, the real utility of this bed comes from the folks that want to sleep separately. Another benefit of the double twin beds is that you actually end up with quite a bit more storage space and you can squeeze some extra cubbies in under each smaller bed. In other words, you don't end up with any of the dead space in terms of storage that you'd expect from a large king size bed. But what about winter? Is the Travato ready for ice and snow? Heck yeah it is! For starters, both the fresh water tank and the water lines are inside the heated space of the RV. I'm honestly surprised more RV manufacturers don't do this in their Class Bs since I'd expect it's a lot easier to pull off in such a compact space. With this setup, as long as you are warm, then so are your critical fluids. You've also got heating pads on the less critical but still important black and gray tanks, which are, of course, outside the living space of the RV. You'll find double pane windows throughout, and we've already talked about how impactful that can be for the overall efficiency and warmth of any RV. There's also upgraded foam insulation in the roof and walls to keep you comfy. Finally, there's the energy system. We're specifically looking at the KL model, and in this case, L stands for lithium. It features an 8700 watt hour lithium battery that can keep you warm even while boondocking, at least for a little while. Overall, the Travato will keep you warm in the winter, but it isn't going to be your number one pick for sub-zero temperatures. At least, not without some additional modifications. Still, it's a comfortable RV with a ton of flexibility to handle whatever most RVers might throw at it. The Roadtrek brand can be a bit of a mixed bag for some folks. With 30 plus years of Class B excellence behind them, they developed a solid reputation for quality rigs. But that changed in 2019 with a bankruptcy, a massive layoff, and allegations of a scandal at the top. After all that, the Road Trek name changed hands and ownership, but hung on to many of the things that made them great. The newest Road Trek Zion is a result of that transition and features plenty of warranties and quality guarantees to keep the cautious RVers feeling comfortable buying from a brand that's had a few rough patches. Built on a 19-foot Promaster chassis, the Compact Road Trek is a great balance between the folks who want to boondock during the winter but still have the luxury of modern Class B RVs. For starters, the rig is fully equipped with a robust solar power system and lithium batteries that will help you stay powered even if you're far from shore power. You'll also stay warm with the 16,000 BTU furnace that comes standard, and while that should be plenty for most people, some folks may need to upgrade their heat or add an additional source. Your furnace, and your air conditioner for that matter, are ready to go whether your engine is running or not. While that might seem like a pretty standard feature, not every RV can actually pull this off for any length of time, and the combination of lithium batteries along with the solar panels gives you a lot of flexibility but also reliability, which is super important in cold weather or remote conditions. The Road Trek Zion doesn't have the kind of super durability that we've seen in a few other rigs on this list. As I said, it's more of an in-between option for folks that want to stay on the road during the winter but aren't ready to go for something as rugged as the Revel, for example. 
Overall, the Roadtrek Zion makes a great option as long as you aren't looking to take your winter camping trip to the extreme. If instead you want to be winter ready, super comfortable, and aren't afraid to make a few modifications, then it's hard to go wrong with this Class B RV. Airstream is synonymous with luxury, and the Interstate 19, one of their most popular Class B RVs, is no exception. The Interstate 19 takes all the bells and whistles we've come to expect from Airstream and packs it into their smallest, most versatile design. Built on a Mercedes-Benz Sprinter 2500 van chassis, the Interstate 19 has a diesel engine, is 4x4 ready, and has two 100 AH deep cycle lithium batteries as well as a Truma Combi heater and water heater combination. Looking a little closer at the power the Interstate 19 has, there's also a 2.4 kilowatt generator backed by propane that can run for up to 30 hours, heating the entire motorhome. The unique Truma heater and water heater combination ensures consistent, reliable heat and never-ending source of hot water. The batteries have standard heating pads included to ensure it's never too cold for them to stay charged. And all of this is monitored by an advanced alarm system that notifies you of any issues with the batteries, generator, black and gray water tanks, or other areas of your RV, including freezing alerts. The Interstate 19 also uses vinyl flooring embedded in rubber over 1.5 inches of insulation and plywood subflooring. This helps for extra insulation, sound control, and to protect the piping and controls in your undercarriage. The Interstate 19 also comes with standard undercarriage lights in case you ever need to crawl under there, which I really hope you never do. But all that said, the Airstream Interstate 19 is still a luxury motorhome and it's not best for trekking through the Rocky Mountains in February. If you're looking for a Sub-Zero Ready RV that lets you ski from your front door, the Winnebago Revel or Storyteller Overland Beast is the way to go. But if you want an RV that will take you across the country in luxury and keep you toasty and safe in occasional or mild winter weather, you can't beat the Interstate 19. The Interstate 19 is definitely one of the more expensive Class B motorhomes out there and as such, it's ideal for full-time living. Still, it's going to be worth the price for many. With so many bells and whistles on this motorhome, it's definitely worth checking out. Winter camping is almost a rite of passage for any hardcore RVer, and a Class B is one of the best ways to make the journey. Whatever your motivation in wanting a winter fairing Class B RV, remember to not blindly trust the standard Arctic package. From the luxury ride of the Airstream Interstate 19 to the rugged 4x4 ready Winnebago Rebel, I hope you found an RV that you love on this list.